Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you were here previously and I haven't put out any videos in a while, you'll notice I'm back. My name is Crafty Days or Lisa and I'm going to blend this background today with you with Distress Oxides. So here we go. So this stamp set is from Simon Says Stamp. And the name of it is Follow the Rainbows. Just a really cute stamp. So what I did is I stamped this with Memento ink because I'm probably going to color it with Copic markers. So um, I went ahead and used this so that I can color it with those and it won't bleed. Next I stamped this image on masking paper and that just comes in a, a roll that I got, I think on Amazon. Um, you can always go through Crafty Owl's Amazon if you'd like her um, store because she gets just a little credit for it. And then I cut this out, fussy cut it, and I'm. this is probably the sixth card I've done since I'm trying to do a video. Anyway, on to what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use this in cover because I wanna keep where the girl is on here. I want to keep that as white as I can. I am definitely not a perfectionist, but there we go. We just kind of place that on there, pat it down, and that just protects that surface. Like I said, it's going to end up coming out white like that so that I can do something. I could paper piece that. If I end up paper piecing that, I might video it also. So, but first we're going to start, I'll go ahead and tell you the colors blueprint sketch, salty ocean, black soot, stormy sky, and Mulan. And I'm going to start with the salty ocean because I'm a little salty today since I've tried this video three times. And I'm going to try to set this off because it keeps clicking. So I have one brush that I use for the blues unless it's just a crazy blue. But we're going to start on the bottom. I'm going to get my little post-it note out just to kind of cover so I can ink blend and not get it all over my hands and then get it somewhere else. So we're just going to start on the bottom. And these oxide inks are very good with blending. So if you feel like, you, I feel like I got it a little too high, the green, when I bring the green in, it will help out a lot. So that's it for that part. And when I bring in the green, it's just going to make it so smooth that you won't see, usually it'll blend real well and you won't see any mistakes that I make. If you guys are wanting uh, me to do any different um, techniques, let me know and I can sure try to do those. Just leave me a little note, thumbs up would be great, so I know that you saw my video and you want me to maybe make some more. I do get on with Call Me Crafty Owl, usually every other week on Saturday night around 7, oh 6.30, 6.30 I think, because we're usually done by 8. But see, I'm going to kind of go right along that blue and just blend that out. And I kind of like that, so little more green okay and this does not have to be perfect once these dry they just they turn out great I kind of think they look a little more realistic too if they're not perfect so next we're gonna use that was mode lawn next we're gonna use distress oxide stormy sky Got my blue brush and I just kind of wipe the excess off Everything's kind of spinning out of control here. There we go. And once again, that stormy sky. So I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to work off that umbrella. So that it's... I kind of want it lighter where the umbrella is and darker in the further background. So that's what I'm working for here. And then there's... I guess I need a little bit more ink. And then the other colors will definitely smooth this out, but I kind of want this on the whole thing, just so it goes out smooth. Okay, so there's the stormy sky. Next, 
I'm gonna use a blueprint sketch. And I'm gonna do that around the whole outside, okay? Just let's make sure I'm in the picture here. I don't wanna get rid of all that stormy sky, but I definitely want this blue in there. It makes it definitely look a little more stormy by the time we're done here. switch back and put a little more stormy sky on there just to make it a really smooth transition and that's all you have really have to do with these oxides is go back in and kind of work those two together see they're kind of going smoothly together okay and then I'll probably do that green a little bit there on the edge again Right now I'm gonna change to black soot. So let's see. Hopefully we won't go crazy. The black soot, that's the one you want to just, you wanna work off the paper just so you don't get too much. I'm just gonna put a more in the corners maybe. Just because I want you to see those colors that are already on there. This is not the only way to do this, but this is just the way I was doing these today. So. All right, I think that's probably enough black soot. Let's see, I think I will maybe grab that blueprint and put a little bit of that on there just to make sure it's smooth. See how it just kind of smooths everything together. All right, now we'll go back to the lawn. Make sure you have the green brush, I sure do. And then I'm just gonna smooth that out a little bit. I don't want like a white line there. So I'm just gonna, and see how smooth that goes together. Just, uh, well, there's a little black there, but there we go. Just smooth that out a little bit. And if I don't like that later, I'll put the words across here probably. So, all right, now here's the, let's see. I think I want to do a little blue down here at the bottom. Salty Ocean. And just smooth that out. the reveal. Hopefully I'm still recording. Alrighty. Just have to grab underneath that and there you go. You can save that for later. You can use that a lot of times. Like I said, I've probably used this uh, masking paper six times already. So I do notice a little bit of white, a little bit of white around the outside, but that doesn't bother me. So but anyway, then next thing I did, let's go ahead and flip that. Oh, yeah. I was gonna flip it so it was nice and clean. Let me get another sheet. Okay, so we have a pretty work surface. Now I'm gonna take my Slingo Uniball white pen and I'm just gonna, gonna um, put some white, like where the uh, light would be shining off of this water down here and you can always put a few extra in and then I'm also going to whiten the raindrops so those stand out a little bit more and I might put a little white on these raindrop streaks just so those show up a little bit more. What I'll probably do also is um, paper piece all this together. And once I decide how I'm going to do that, I'll get back on and do another video and we'll paper piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, if there's any anything you'd like to see, whether it's, you know, doing some stenciling or 
whatever I can show. I can show you different stenciling. I did this with the Penguin Palace three, uh, Stencil 360. So anyway, so that's it for today. I'm so glad you guys are here. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched the video and enjoyed it. And like I said, any comments, just so you know, I'm not the professional videographer, but I have fun and hopefully you do too. All right, take care until later.